This car is equipped with the auto stop feature, which is not only annoying, but puts a lot of premature wear and tear on the car as well. And while some cars offer you a button to disable this feature, at least for a while, this Cadillac doesn't even give me this option because, well, I don't know why. It is what it is. But I've noticed if I open the hood first and then start the car, the hood open warning light will light up and when I close the hood, the light goes out. But now, when I drive and stop at the traffic light, the auto stop feature is disabled with the engine continuously running, which is great. But obviously, I will not be opening and closing the hood every time I start the car. Instead, I will install this nifty gadget and it will do it for me electronically. And it takes just about two minutes to install it. Open the hood once again. And now you need to locate the hood wire harness connector. It should be somewhere on the top right above the radiator right there i used a pair of needle nose pliers to squeeze the pin to get the connector out and this is how my connector looks like but yours may be slightly different with uh, different colors and now i need to unhook these two parts of connector from each other but first i need to slide out this gray plastic lock and press in the middle to release the connector just like so now get this new gadget and attach one of the sides into this connector. And if it doesn't go in, you just need to flip it around. It can only be attached in one direction, so you will not mess it up. And make sure that it clicks, just like so. And then slide the gray locking tab back in its place. And now do the other side as well. And now all I have to do is attach this blob of wires to the main frame so it doesn't dance around when I drive. It should go something like this. And I'll be using these cable ties which are actually included in the package. So after playing around for a bit this is how I put it all together. But maybe later when I have more patience I will redo it if I find a better way to secure it. But it should be good for now. As soon as I cut off that uh, extra piece of the wire tie that is sticking out. And now it's time to test it out. The open hood warning light is not on, so that's a good sign. And the engine should not auto stop when I press on a brake. And it all sounds great, so what's the bad side of it? Well, if your car is still under warranty, you would definitely want to remove this device right before you take it to the shop because they will probably refuse the service under warranty and then you can easily reinstall it in just a couple of minutes now if you typically start your car remotely you can still do it but this device will not work until you restart the engine with the button on your dashboard the next con is for residents of california only unfortunately you are not allowed to buy this device at least at this time and another negative is that this thing cost over 100 dollars so it's definitely not a cheap purchase. I hope you found this video informative. If so, please hit the like button and thanks for watching.